Like many other former Disney stars, Cole Sprouse and Dove Cameron are opening up about their struggles with mental health and how they cope, especially during challenging times like we're in now. Hey everyone, it's Susan Morad here with Clever News, bringing you all the latest entertainment updates from my at-home studio. And while we're busy social distancing at home, many celebs are getting candid about how they get through tough times. Former Disney stars in particular have been very open about their mental health struggles, whether it's Selena Gomez being honest about her lupus and her physical health, to Demi Lovato getting candid about her overdose and mental health. We can rely on our former Disney stars to keep it real with us. And two more Disney stars who have opened up about coping with their struggles are Cole Sprouse and Dove Cameron. Before we get into everything they both talked about, I just wanted to give a trigger warning and let you know that this story will cover some heavier topics like anxiety and depression. So please only continue watching if you feel comfortable doing so. Also, make yourself comfortable and subscribe to Clever News and hit that bell so we can keep you updated on all the entertainment news you need to know. All right, so let's start with Cole Sprouse. We all know and love Cole for his acting, but if you follow him on Instagram, you can tell he's also pretty passionate about professional photography, and he's really good at it. He's photographed some huge celebs for magazine shoots like Lana Condor, Noah Centineo, Sam Smith, and of course, his girlfriend, Lily Reinhardt. But as talented of a photographer Cole is, it isn't just a hobby for him. Over the past few years, he's opened up about how photography has helped him cope with depression. According to Refinery29, Cole spoke about his love for photography and how he has used it to bring him out of a dark place. Cole said that he was, quote, sad and in a dark place, and he turned to a hobby to sort of take him out of that. And previously, Cole has also spoken about how photography has helped him on a vlog with YouTuber Dewey Ann McKenzie. I had really used it as an outlet, as a way to to create and feel better, and it took off. Most of my work took place in the landscape, and um, there was something profoundly serene about those landscapes, and I had sort of used those adventures as an attempt to separate from not just the virtual world, but from a world that I felt paranoid was watching me quite a bit. He's also gotten real with his fans on Instagram about how he uses photography to cope. Cole shared this photo and wrote, it was depression that drove me to do it. That's the real truth. It was depression that led me to the camera. It heals, you know, a hobby. There's no band-aid like a hobby. I've been destructive. I know that now. I can see that I'm in a desert and I've been thinking about that oasis when I should have been trying to get out. So if you've been feeling down or struggling during this tough time, leaning into a healthy hobby like Cole does with photography might really help. I know I'm really into DIY clothing crafts and coloring in with a great set of pencils. Do you guys have any hobbies that help you cope during challenging times? Let me know down in the comments section below and feel free to share some ideas with the rest of us. All right, so let's move on to Dove, who more recently has gotten candid about her struggles with anxiety and depression. In a new virtual interview with Entertainment Tonight, Dove talked about how spending her teenage years in the limelight affected her mental health. I'm so open and so um, fragile that like, I feel like the world just like permeates me all the time and that results in anxiety and depression and like confusion and loneliness. And she also touched on how her mental health is continuing to be tested today in situations with the current social distancing protocols. You know, I feel like it's a day-to-day -day experience. Like I think two days ago I had like a massive breakdown and I was like, humans aren't meant to be cooped up. You know, I mean, I feel like this is like an ultimate um, experience of like, you can't really distract yourself from yourself. And as she releases new music, Dove looked back and talked about how she was, quote, depressed long before I was famous. But she increasingly kept certain sides of her personality to herself as she shot to fame and that caused some major ups and downs. Dove said she remembered having days where she would feel like, quote, wow, I feel so safe. I want to eat it all. I want to meet you all. I want to love. And then I'm like, I need to shave my head and move away and never talk to anyone ever again. And she went on to explain that not showing her true colors affected her happiness as she navigated the quote, incredibly toxic celebrity culture in which stars feel the pressure to be perfect. Dove said, quote, I think this culture is so insidious for what is allowed for a woman, especially a developing young woman. I wanted my boyfriend to think I was like, good and beautiful and pure and that I wasn't a bad girl because bad girls get punished. As I've gotten older, I'm like, effort. It took me a long time to stop feeling so bad about myself. I needed the approval of everybody and to start being like, I only care about my own approval. And now years later, Dove admitted that she still faces struggles, but has used her music to express herself. Her latest song, Remember Me, actually came right from her teenage journal and she wrote it about two years ago. Dove said, quote, 
I've always written in my journal like years and years and years ago. I was like, no matter who I find, no matter who I'm with, whether it's incredible or the worst, I will always have the knowledge that I am my own partner. I am my own caregiver, my own parent, my own other half. I complete me. And we're just glad Dove has come so far and has found resources like journaling and music to help her during challenging times. And if you haven't listened to her new song yet, I highly suggest it. Another artist, Bia, is also featured on the track and it will make you feel all the feels. And if you want more on Dove, she recently revealed that her Disney days were the best and the worst days of her life. You can catch up on that right over here. I'm your host, Susan Warren. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.